Hello guys, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of my videos on the Business in Africa YouTube channel. I call it a Rufus Exchange, right? We just come here so that we exchange business ideas and talk about strategies. And of course, I come here to also do videos that you requested, right? So in this video, I'll be doing a video that um, one of my subscribers, one of the subscribers to this channel, actually requested. Now, he wanted to know what it would take to do a grocery store or to set up a grocery store in Douala, Cameroon. He was very precise. I'm sure it's somebody who lives in Cameroon. I don't know you, but thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for commenting. It implies that you actually watch my videos to the end because I always say that drop me your comment for the videos that you want me to do, like the topics that you want me to do. I'm here for you guys, okay? I'll do a research and then I'll come back with a video based on that. So in this video, I'll be talking about grocery store. In fact, if I do that, let me read his comments, okay? He's called Nestorkam Sakwe Roland. Nestorkam Sakwe Roland. I salute you guys. I know you want to start up a grocery store in Douala, right? And I'll try as much as possible to answer this question. I'm based in Douala. So I'm sure if you want to do this business here, we can actually work together. I can support you as much as I can. What he said was, I want to know how to start up a grocery store in Douala. Thank you in advance. Voila. So simply you just drop a comment and I pick that up and I'm doing a video based on that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Rufo Chifu. I'm the CEO founder of HR and Systems Limited, a consultancy based uh, company. We are here in Douala, but we do consultancy for businesses all over Africa, right? So if you want to set up a business in Nigeria, Ghana, Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, you can contact us. Let's talk about your business setup, okay? Because that's what we do. We do feasibility studies, we do business plans, we do um, uh, supplier plus clients negotiations and we do company formation services and we can just manage your startup like give you the support um, to start up your project right up to it starts growing right and you start making some money so that's what we do here at hrn system so you can contact us anytime and we are going to be of service to you okay that said if you're new to this channel please please make sure you click on the subscribe button there is no reason why you should be watching me and not subscribing join the community join the business in africa community let's talk business on the african continent so click on the subscribe button right now before i come back after the break don't go anywhere i'll be right back hello guys hello my business in africa youtube community my name is rufo chifu i always talk about the best business ideas to invest in africa and i have been having a lot of questions from investors like you asking me which african country should i invest in i therefore decided to create this if you're an investor and you want to invest in africa then you need this tool click on the links in the description box below and download your own copy so guys ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel and as you know i'm doing this video for nestor cam sacre roland guys he's one of my subscribers who wanted to know what it would take to set up a grocery store business in douala now grocery store you guys know what grocery store is right a grocery store is just um, a store that sells anything that has to do with food items like household food items okay it can be fresh it can be dried or you can do the both okay so it just depends so most supermarkets in Douala like you know like the Carrefour's like like the the uh, Super U's I mean like the Santa Lucia's all of them they are like kind of like grocery shops because they sell their supermarkets but they are kind of like big okay so i don't know what you wanted sakwe what i wanted um uh, me to talk about the small one or the big one but it all depends on what you want okay it's the same thing they have goods that they sell in there they buy them stock them in and then retail okay so that's basically what you're going to find in grocery stores but before you get into that i just wanted to know this i am not kind of discouraging you i'm just trying to like let you know the realities like there are some real challenges for this kind of business okay um i have mentored 
so many of these kind of businesses, small ones, and there are real challenges. There are, the first challenge is that you have to deal with stock. So managing stock on a daily basis, if you don't have a good system, a good stock management system, you can be thinking that you're making money whereas you are not, okay? Now the second challenge is that um, it depends on a lot on where your store is located, okay? So if you can't have a very good location for your store where there's traffic, you might just end up, you know, winding down because people who want to pass on the road and then just see your store and then, I mean, it's where you're going to have like working customers. It has to be very convenient for where people can actually stop pack and then you know buy from you and then they continue to their homes okay now that's the second challenge that you're going to have now the third challenge <clears throat> now the third challenge that you're going to have with this kind of business is that it has a very low margin like you buy you buy a pack of maggi for 100 francs and sell it for 110 francs so the margins are very low so if you cannot really like manage your stock very well and sell in volumes you might not really make a lot of profits of course and then the last challenge i might face is customer service we have a lot of customer service problems here and the moment a customer doesn't feel satisfied they are going to move straight to the next place so there's a lot of competition okay so these are some of the challenges i'm going to find in this business but of course as I usually say, go for it if you want to go for it. Now, I'm going to give you the steps. I call it the first five or the five steps that you need to start up this kind of business. But I'm going, I, I always add step zero, which is like what you need to do before you go to step one, which is feasibility studies and business plan. Now, this stage is where you write your feasibility study report, right? Like you go out there and actually do some research or you can, I mean, after doing the research and then you come up with some kind of business plan, that's going to answer questions like how much rent you're going to need, how much you pay staff, what items you're going to start with, which ones are like the fast selling items. So you don't want to stop things that probably sell less faster and, you know, to the detriment of the ones that actually go out fast. So you need to study the market and see which of the items that they really buy in the area that you want to start your business, okay? So all of this will be in your feasibility study. Now, if you don't have time to do this or you don't have the expertise, you can contact us at HR and Systems. That's what we do here, okay? For any African country, you can contact us, not just in Douala. We can do your feasibility study for you and then we can come up with your business plan for you. And we can also negotiate for suppliers for you and also set up your company. This is what this, this is what we do here, right, at HR and Systems Limited. We are a consultancy company based in Douala, Cameroon, but we work for all over Africa, okay? So contact us right now. Let's talk about that business of yours but that said if you already have a feasibility study if you've already done your business plan then you can now move to my next step which is step number one as i always say location is key i already mentioned that right location location and location for a, for a grocery store if you don't have a very good location there's a big problem so Carefully think about it, do your research, go around, look for a very good location where there is traffic and set up your grocery store. And of course, you're supposed to also have like a parking where people can come, comfortably park their cars securely and then go into your store, buy and then leave, okay? Now, it depends on how big or how small you want the business to be, but if you want to start small, then you also need to situate yourself around a quartier where people will be, you understand? Where people, um, like the neighborhoods where people are always parked and they can easily start buying from your store okay but if you want a bigger thing like you know the Carrefour's the Carrefour markets and you know all the shop rights all the big supermarkets then that's a whole lot different ball game okay so that was point number one on point number two you need to register your business in this case it depends on how big or how small that would tell determine whether you want to go in for sole proprietorship you want to go in for a limited liability company or you want to go in for a public limited company okay that all depends on how big how many shareholders you've got and so on and so forth if you're having difficulties with this you can contact us at HR and systems and we are going to help you set up or register your business or if you just want to have some information or like some knowledge about setting up companies in any African country then this book is for you this is not just a book it's a tool go to Amazon Kindle right now and download this tool it's right here it's the African business startup brain box where you're going to find all the procedures all the documents needed all the estimated timeline and the estimated cost for 
registering your company in every African country, the 54 of them. Guys, this is a very handy tool. It sells for $9.9, just all $9.9. Click on the links in the description box below and go download this book right now, okay? I'm the author of that book and believe me, it has some real quick information or good information for you. I also published the book, um, The Unique Business Ideas for Every African Country. It's right here as well. So you can go to Amazon Kindle and get those two books and get started on the African continent. Contact us at any time. Let's talk your business as well, okay? Now, let's go to point number four, which as I say, no, it wasn't four, no, it's not four. Point number three. Point number three is negotiate with your suppliers. This is key because you are not going to manufacture any of those products, right? You buy, it's training. You are going to buy and sell. So negotiate from suppliers where you can constantly be getting goods and where you can get good discounts and put on your shop, okay? When this is done, you go to the, set, the fourth step, which is hire and train staff. Hire guys, hire your sales agents, hire your, your the people who are going to sell your, your like your cashiers, hire your sales girls, hire your people who are going to do your stock for you, and then you hire all these people and of course train them so that they, they get to know the values of your company, right? So you train them so that they get to understand the business further and they can help you grow your business as well, okay? Human capital is key. We all know that as entrepreneurs. And then the fifth step is start making marketing. Start marketing your place. Start selling your place, okay? People need to know about it. Print flyers, distribute them all around town. Um, um, do digital marketing, do videos. Come to us like this. I'm going to promote your business on this channel for free, of course. <laughs> so contact me, I'll promote your business. That doesn't matter. So do this as much as possible and get started and start making money, okay? It's so easy to, you know, market people in this case. Um, just by distributing flyers, people can leave from other places and start testing your goods and your service and believe me as i said customer service is key if you treat people right they will stay they'll keep coming back okay and that's customer service so guys those were the steps and the tips on how to start a grocery store in douala which i also think applies perfectly well in any part of africa so if you're watching me from anywhere in africa you can get to use these tips and get started hey did i forget how much it might cost but as i said it depends on how big you want your business to be so but for me if you budget from ten thousand dollars about five million francs cfa right up to as much as possible then you can start a good business in this line okay so that was it guys and i hope you did enjoy this video if you did drop me thumbs up drop your comments as i said this was a video i did because someone dropped a comment and i'm doing this video for that person so if you have any questions drop in the comment section below and i'll do as much as possible i'll do a video to answer your question and we are going to talk business on the african continent my name is rufo chifu and i love africa i'll see you in my next video bye bye